Let's not go inside. Why not? Because there's probably people living in it. Yeah, so, um, uh, I think there's somebody living in here. What's up, guys? It's Ronan. Julia. And Steven. And today we're going to be exploring Villa Winter in Forte Ventura. Villa Winter, the house right behind us, was inhabited by German during World War II and, was, and is likely used to radio German U-boats during World War II. We don't know if we are able to go inside, but we are going to give you a tour outside the house. So let's do this. Okay, so here, here's the house. <laughs> Steven walking around. Okay, so it has many windows, a bunch of junk as you can see. It is not the nicest house right now, but it is an old house. And then you can see a huge 360 tower. A little bit suspicious, huh? <laughs> huh? And also, so after the war, the German guy moved out and it was found that there was radios found in this area, in this um, house. So it made it really suspicious that he was helping the Germans with radioing. And also, it is a, a big... There's a, a disagreement with when the house was built, because the locals are saying it's built before the war, but the person, the German who lived in the house is saying it was built way after the war, and the local authorities are saying it was built the year after the war. So I was thinking the most trusted resource is the locals because they were likely the people who helped build the house. And that seems like a trusted source. But you can easily see it's pretty odd to have a really big 360 tower and it might have been, it could have been easily been used for radioing. Let's talk about this view. It is a really nice view. Really nice water view. Not many people on the beach though. Yeah, some some it's... were on the left um, of the beach. I think yeah. some surfers are uh, on the waves. Okay, we're gonna be going down and checking out the front. Okay, so I just went under, down over here, and here's the 360 tower. You can see over in the front of it. It's very nice. It's a pretty big house though. It's a little odd that it's just somewhere in the middle of nowhere. There's a tiny town over here but it's off the distance of the town. This is truly an interesting house because it's still unknown if it was used to help the Germans. A lot of boarded off windows and stuff. So we're gonna try and film this open window. Oh my God, that scared me. <gasps> Just a dark alley. Okay, these pigeons aren't happy. Oh my gosh, there's so many pigeons. I oof, jeez. These are nicer windows over here. The entrance is around. We came in over here. And then look at this. Ah, we just did gave you a pretty much a 360. So I'm currently inside and I'm just getting a video. A lot of this is closed off. It's just like a little. There's a big open area. I already got some video of that. huge amount of birds like wow these people have a lot of birds so you have to wear a mask okay here is a room nice Christmas decoration so this is interesting it's a German officer a lot of medals Huge amount of metals. And then there's two more jackets. It's like a mini museum in here. It's pretty interesting. Wow, very interesting things. Look, there's a nice picture of a American plane. I don't know, C-47? Oh, do you not know? Because I did explore a C-47 and it looked similar to that, but I can't tell exactly because it doesn't really show the front of the plane. Wow, there's a big U-boat. Here is a bunch of batteries and this is really cool. This might have even been inside the house. If this was inside the house, this is like, wow. It's very interesting. But that is really cool, this U-boat. These might be the things that are found in the house. If that is, that is really cool. These aren't even related to it. This is Bundeswehr. I don't know why that's even there. Maybe, for some reason. It's kind of like a mini military museum, kind of. 
see a little bike, some ammunition case, cases. This case is, I don't speak Spanish, I don't know what that is. I don't even know what that means. Tell me what it means in the comments. I'm gonna give you a closer look at it. This is really cool. And then there's some helmets. American helmets, some machine belt, a machine belt. Don't know what that is. Might be for a bird, I think. Maybe a big bird. And there's Fort Ventura. It's like a big desert island. I think we're somewhere. Yeah, look, this is. Oh, I think we are right here. Somewhere here. Because this is the big. Um, this is the big beach. And I think we must be somewhere around here with the big mountains behind us. That is very cool. We got a lot of pictures. This is so, this is really cool. There's a metal detector, that's nice. And another metal detector, they're like really old ones. I'm gonna go out into the front with a little pool that's not even workable, it's not even filled up. It's like a tub. There's some noise in the basement. Some people down there, I do not know. But you guys should hear this. It's very odd. That's down the thing. So it basically has two floors and a basement, so that noise could be coming from the basement and they're possibly giving a tour of that. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. I just put money in a in the um, tin and just walked in here. <laughs> it might have worked because I didn't... There's no one in the house right now. I'm just confused. But other from, like, they're probably giving a tour in the basement. Yep, the noise is gone now. Okay. Yeah. Very nice view. Wow. This is a cool place. <laughs> Very interesting. Indeed. So I think I just explored as much as we can. Maybe we could go down to the basement, but I can't see where. So here is a telephone. And a big light. That could have been used to signal the U-boats. We do not know. But very interesting. Interesting. This does seem to be the perfect place to signal U-boats. This is where the visit to Villa Winter takes an odd turn. The man giving the tour who seems to be related to the family who began squatting in the villa after World War II insists on no photos. We soon learn why. Inferences are repeatedly made that the house was used for dreadful experiments by Dr. Venter. Most of the basement tour was spent inferring nefarious uses of each area. I've muted his voice for his privacy, but I'll try and tell you what, what is being said to honor the request that to, we won't show his face or his voice. Please keep in mind that our guide's English is only passable we often mix English and Spanish. Luckily for us, we have the recording to study and my dad studied Spanish. He talked about a window letting light in, but not out. Maybe he was talking about the vent we found earlier, which easily lets sound out like we learned. He's describing the room he calls the laboratory. He says the oven is made for much higher temperatures. Pizza needs only 350 degrees, but the oven goes to 700 degrees. This is the beginning where he tries to make the lab seem scary. He never actually says terrible experiments happened here, but he works hard to give evidence to it being possible. You can honestly make any lab seem scary if you only give scary examples. He says that someone says that it's a kitchen in the basement, but the countertop is at an odd height. He literally says that he is going to compare Auschwitz to Villa Winter. This is one of the many inferences that he made, and this is probably why he doesn't want a video of himself. He mentions experiments with children and a new face for officials going to South America. By officials, he means we, it's not a mystery to us because it obviously means German officials after World War II, and by new face, we think he means plastic surgery. He says the countertop is for a body. He shows a photo of a table at Auschwitz and compares it to this table. Now he talks about a friend who is a forensic doctor. He talks about the color and the table, the color of the table and the color of the floor. He doesn't say blood, but he's inferring it. 
He uses words and phrases like body, too much red to clean up, person, necessary for something, something projecting down. And he uses this as evidence to explain why this was a laboratory and it's not a kitchen. He goes back to the idea that the room is a kitchen. He uses several examples and mentions that local people, Germans, Spanish, and Canarians do not have kitchens like this. He says that the Spanish government does not agree with his story, but it's not a problem for him, only the Spanish government. He describes the thickness of the walls in the corridor that leads up from the kitchen to the exit. It is a long hallway with several small rooms, some with bunk beds. The doorways are short, which he describes as odd because Germans are taller. He spends time talking about how thick the floor is and says something about window shooting, munitions, experimental children, and material for the war down. Maybe he means the basement by saying down. He says he isn't telling us this for us to change the story. He just says why all these unusual things are in the basement. It's possible that it's connected to the war because it is only 300 meters away from the water. He again talks about how the Spanish government does not recognize the story. He talks about the many uniforms that were found in the house. All the material in the museum was apparently found here, including the batteries. So we basically made this video so you guys have the chance of seeing what is happening over at Villa Winter. And there's a lot of rumors online and we just wanted to firsthand see exactly what's happening. And our tour guide was pretty much trying his best to inflate the rumors. So now you basically have as much information as us because we basically told the um, story exactly as our tour guide told it. So now you decide what was going on at Villa Winter. But is it that weird for a doctor to have his own laboratory and if he's in a remote area having his own facilities for his own experiments? Comment down below if you think this was a secret base. This is going to wrap up the video for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed. This was actually really interesting. We first went on to do the 360 tour and then I went over and just put the money in the tin and I went inside, explored the museum. You'll see more of that. And then the tour guide brought us and showed us the basement. And it shows, it means that the, it's supposed to be a kitchen, but it looks very medical because there's like a medical counter or something like that. And he showed us pictures of like the same thing in hospitals, but it's called a kitchen. It's supposed to be a kitchen, like maybe in disguise. And also there is an oven, but is way too hot for a normal, for normal cooking. So it's a little odd. It might've been an experimental place possibly, but it could have also just been a random German doctor doing his own research or something but it's very interesting it's still a big mystery on what's going on because <laughs> the radios in the museum could have possibly been the radios that were here so that is actually really cool yeah basically it is still really really cool i i if you guys are around this place i think you should explore it because it is still fun to explore this type of history we didn't really get to go up the 360 tower, but we still got to see it from the outside. We did a complete 360 tour. Uh, but yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can join us on our next adventure. And goodbye.